are going on the metro. Going out Paris in the underground. So we just got to downtown Paris and this is the uh, Notre Dame obviously still under construction from the fire lots of construction yet to go apparently they're trying to get it done for the Olympics but it seems to me like they got a lot of work to do before that gets finished the entire roof is gone so interesting so they got a set of bleachers set up here so people can sit and look at the front of Notre Dame um, can't get any closer than this because of the construction so but this is a good vantage point for sure so we're gonna go up top on these bleachers and get a couple pictures all right this is the best view of it we can get here Statue off to the side, and we got downtown Paris in the distance. The top dome of the Pantheon there in the distance. All right, everybody, so the lighting in here is not great, but uh, this is the remains of what was a Roman city called Lutetia below Paris built in 308 um, the 4th century AD and uh, see the size of these blocks here some Roman columns very cool All right here's another little section little underground area and some stairs these little alcoves are very interesting in terms of how they're built. Here's another little area. Looks like some wells. Some rooms. This is the final little area here. This is an area that has Roman baths. So this is really interesting. Here's again the construction here at Notre Dame. And uh, right in front of me is modular temporary accommodations for the people who are working here. Never seen anything like that before. It's like a pop-up temporary apartment building. It's pretty neat. You disappear, surrounded by walls, you become a prisoner. Only freedom is your view of the sky and the tiny glimpse of the river below. Enter the dark single file chamber up ahead. Alright, so we're well behind uh, Notre Dame right here and we just crossed this little pedestrian bridge in front of us and now we're on the Ile uh, Saint Louis or the island of Saint Louis. Apparently this is where um, the wealthy live in Paris. This is the most uh, wealthiest neighborhood in Paris. Which I can understand considering you're right in the heart of downtown Paris if you're here right on the banks of the Seine. Um, so as we continue to walk along the uh, road here in front of these apartments on the Ile Saint Louis, I just looked up on Google what the price is. So a two bedroom apartment here is roughly a million dollars Canadian and uh, a four bedroom apartment is about three million. So you definitely gotta have some money. You guys, I have no idea why this is famous, but this is the Shakespeare and Company bookstore here in Paris. 
apparently it's an English bookstore and for some reason everybody comes here and they want to go in I have no idea why this is so significant but there's a lineup to get in today so all right so we are going to go inside of Shakespeare and Company all right we're inside the very famous Shakespeare and Company I was just reading a little sonnet from the works of William Shakespeare we were told a story about these little beds here where writers could come and sleep for free as long as they wrote books and contributed to the overall library so and Kieran here got himself a little volume of Macbeth which is really cool and it's a pretty cool looking bookstore as you can see and it's we're upstairs and there's a downstairs as well very cool This is an area here called the Latin Quarter. It smells really good down here, lots of food. Alright everybody, so we're just across from the entrance of St. Chapelle Church, which we are going to go see in a few minutes. This is the lineup over here. We have tickets to enter at noon. Um, but before we go in there, I just wanted to show you this. This is cool. This is a water fountain. Um, they're all over Paris and uh, you can just fill your water bottle from these. This is similar to when we were in Rome. They had fountains all over the place and uh, drinking water. Pretty cool. Alright you guys, this is the upstairs of St. Chapelle. Unbelievable. Unreal. This is crazy. The amount of stained glass is unreal. I'm standing outside here on the uh, upper balcony and as I turn around you can see it's amazing stonework. At the entrance to the second floor and all this amazing stained glass. Oh. Really impressive. All right, so interesting fact this church was built by King Louis the Ninth to house the crown of thorns that was put on Jesus' head. Pretty crazy. Just descending the tight staircase here that's the exit to St. Chapelle. Here's uh, Raylan and Kieran resting on the steps of the Justice Building. Right beside it, we just came from the uh, Chapel of St. Chapelle. You can see the spire up there, pretty cool. And uh, the gates to the area. So this building is called the Conciergerie. And uh, it's part of the prison that uh, was built here. And it's 
this along with Saint Chapelle are the only two buildings remaining uh, from the original uh, 1200s and 1300s Gothic architecture um, when the Romans still had influence. And in fact, there's a bunch of information here that in uh, 1370, the Roman Emperor came and visited and had a grand feast here and they even have on display the exact menu, which is pretty cool that they had that, uh, that day. Very interesting architecture. These are the prison cells here at the Conciergerie. Pretty tiny. How much to them? This is the outside of the Conciergerie. The Seine. And we're just crossing the bridge north of that here going to look for some place to eat. Alright, so clearly there's a lot of construction in France. Everywhere we go there's fences. But uh, this is the Louvre. So we're going to walk around the big part of the Louvre here and then we're going to go look at the glass pyramid. This is inside the uh, courtyard here of the building at the Louvre. Pretty impressive building. Lots of statues and carvings. And there it is. The glass pyramid at the Louvre. Pretty impressive. These are the, these are the uh, Louvre Gardens. The Louvre is uh, behind us here. And now we've walked into the garden portion. And uh, busy everywhere here. The beautiful gardens, very well done. Here's a little quieter spot here in the Louvre Gardens. The Louvre in the background, all of these buildings here, part of the Louvre, and uh, we're just exiting to the south here and going over to the Seine, where I think we're going to go and uh, take a boat ride. Nous nous apprêtons maintenant à passer sous le pont royal, cadeau du roi soleil Louis XIV au peuple parisien. We are now arriving at the royal bridge. It was a gift from the Sun King Louis XIV to the Parisian. On your left with the golden dome, the Invalides. Sur votre gauche, le joyau gothique de Paris, la cathédrale Notre-Dame, connue pour ses gargouilles, ses vitraux, mais également pour sa grande rose de 13 mètres de diamètre. So on your left, the uh, gothic jewel of Paris, the Notre-Dame Cathedral, known for its gargoyles, its stained glass windows, but also for its big rose of 30 meters diameter. Just had to stop here and uh, pick up some macarons. Looking pretty good. All different flavors, now we're gonna give one a try. Interesting little narrow street here. Currently headed towards the Monoprix, which is like a version of Walmart. 